shit, you wouldn't have believed it was me. I'm telling you, I, I didn't believe it was me. This love doctor was for real. Well, of course, I mean philosophically. It's a whole new concept for me, but I'm embracing it. I mean, I'm sticking to it. Listen, somebody's in the other room trying to get rid of you, okay? Hold on. Hello. Are you Cass Winthrop? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What can I help you? No problem. I was just looking over some, some papers here. Are you okay so far? What we have here is a, a letter of intent. This is the first step in a long process towards adoption. It doesn't happen overnight. I, I know. I know. I'm, just, I'm excited. Mm. I'm, I'm a little nervous, too. But this is solid, right? I mean, I, I don't have to worry about anything from a legal standpoint, do I? Well, in cases like this, the law is in an act, you know? <laughs> and it tries to safeguard the interests of all concerned, especially the child's natural parents. And that's why it takes so long for an adoption to be final. Now, you and the mother are going to sign uh, right here, and then we can get going. What kind of uh, rights do a natural parents have? It depends. Is there a problem? I don't know. Yeah, me too. All right, Molly, why don't you just um, sign right here, and then on the last page. Marley's here. Oh, you want to go say hi? No, she looks a little busy. I wonder if she's meeting with the lawyer again. Beats me. to wake you up. Get out. What? Now, Dean. Hey, now. my mind was you tonight. That's all 
I wanted, I wanted to be with you. And you know something? If you think you were alone and worried about me, I was worried about you too. I didn't want, I was hoping you were going to go home instead of staying here all night. Well, I would have gone home, Dean. Except that I sat up and waited, thinking that any minute you might walk through the door. I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. And you know something? If I thought this would have hurt us, our, our relationship in any way, I would not have gone out with you guys. Really. I've really tried to be reasonable. Yes, you have. I know you have. You were and you are. All I'm asking is just give it a little more time, okay? Just a little bit of more time. And, and when I make it to the top, if I do... This is all going to change. There's not going to be any more pretend dates. No more stupid stunts. No more Lorna. spending. No more Lorna. Yeah. We can hope. Okay. I love you. I love you. So I would rather be here with you than anywhere in the whole world. Good. But it's certainly not going to cut it. Kelsey! Felicia, there's a crisis developing here. I'll get back to you, okay? Yes. So what, uh, what, uh, what can I do for you? I'm desperate. Oh, well, you look really fine to me. I mean, uh, is this a legal problem? Uh, actually, it's... It's more of a love problem. If you're joking. I wish I were. I'm about to be named as a correspondent in Love Triangle. A, t a love... T t no, the operative word is no. Excuse me? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, look, Miss, um... Call me Anna. Oh, right, Anna. Uh, I, I have a 
associate. Uh, his name is uh, Michael Pierce. And he's very competent and he's had a lot of experience in this area. I I'm sure he'll be suitable to your needs. I was hoping you would be available to, to handle me. I'd heard that you weren't particularly sensitive to children's concerns. <laughs> no, my new specialty is men. Sports. Yeah, that's it. Sports law for men. It's a burgeoning new field. Uh, but I'll have Mr. Pierce call you, and I assure you he's the absolute best. I know you don't need my company. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Are you something? This is in private room. Well, I should hope so. I mean, thank you. Uh, you'll be hearing from us. I'll be waiting, Mr. Yes, bye. I made it. I actually made it. Hey! I did pretty well there. I can't wait to tell Felicia. Yes, come in. Flesh and blood. Is there a problem? Is this bad time for you? Oh, you have no idea. But I'm going to get through it. I swear I will. Cease, my reputation has preceded me. What? You know, that was the ice cream. Ice cream? No, I would say you are somewhat warmer than that. There have been no women in my time to know things. Is, is it warm in here? I might turn that thermostat up. Service is very reliable, unless, of course, it's just a rumor. To give us the personal touch. What do you need me? Well, you met with the lawyers yesterday, right? Yes. Well, you got along well with her, didn't you? What have you heard? Nothing. I just figured you might want to keep up the relationship. The what? There was no relationship. We're both lawyers, that's all. No, there wasn't. Please tell me there wasn't. Doctor, there's a little problem that I have, and I think that you could be just the person to take care of that. The answer is no. And don't you try to tempt me again. What did I do? What did you I do? You tell me, Dean. I don't, come on, Jen, I don't know. What, you didn't have decency to change your shirt before you came here? It's a little of the girl's lips. I see that, yeah, Dean. Yeah, well, I did. I my shirt. I danced with her all night long. Give me a break. I didn't even know it was there, okay? All right? Please, Jenna, you're making a huge deal out of this. I, I I, probably got it when she hugged me or something. I don't know. Well, I didn't get it from a kiss, I'll tell you that, all right? Well, Dean, you know what? You've told me a lot of stuff this morning, Dean. You've told me about the clubs you and Mara went to. you told me about the breakfast at the diner, the limos. Is there anything that you haven't told me about? Decided to go, so don't go throwing that in my. You know what? Either you trust me or you don't. It's as simple as that, right? Yeah, well, have I ever done anything? Let me ask, have I ever done anything ever for you not to, to trust me? Have I? Answer me, have I? Okay. Then you have to do me a favor here. You have to understand that I need to go out to these clubs. I have to go and see these people because I'll tell you something, honey. This world is not about what you know, it's who you know, okay? Okay, Dean. But you know something else? It doesn't seem so tough for you to do all this stuff. Don't tell me that deep down inside, you didn't just love going out with this big star. So what if I did? I mean, what, what good am I, what am I doing any of this for if it's not fun, at least? Right, so the photographer's taking pictures, that's fun too, right? Well, I, I... And the fans getting your autographs, that's really nice. Uh -huh. And of course, it doesn't hurt that Mara's kind of hot looking, right? You're just as hot as Mara. You know what? A lot of people have said that I was really hot at Lady Kate. Yes, you are. I think you, I thought you were great. And you know, there's... There's something you might not believe, but a lot of people think that I could do it again. So do I. Are you kidding me? Do you understand that I would 
I would love, love to be with you day and night on the stage and off the stage. I'd love it. I'd love that day. That's a good thing. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to understand here. Okay, I'm, this is my whole life we're talking about. You know, I don't have any education to fall back on. I'm not a family or, or nothing. But I gotta tell you, my, my life's scary. saw it. It didn't come to me that easy. And, and, and the, the view, the garbage review from that Chicago critic, I mean, that didn't help. If it means anything, I think you're the greatest songwriter I ever met. I guess I'm the only songwriter you've ever met. Listen <laughs> <laughs> to me. And listen to it. I know that I would be nowhere without you. I wouldn't be as far as I am, and that's a fact. I'd be pushing a broom or, or smashing a stupid jukebox. I'll try to remember that next time that we do this. Right. Next time? Excuse me? Yeah, we'll have my blessing again. Well, wait a second. What happened? You can't touch her, Dee. I've never touched her. I never touched when her. When you dance. Oh, oh, oh. She has to stay 20 paces away, and I'm serious. 21 paces for you, okay. You're gonna work. Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. It's not, not gonna happen again. Next time I have to go to a club or something, you're gonna be there, and you're gonna stay there until that club closes. Oh, Grace okay? is gonna love that. I wish you didn't have all these money problems. I mean, then you wouldn't have to do all this bad boy image stuff for the press. Mm, well, everything's going to be fine. It will, as long as we stick together, okay? Right. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, man, I, I gotta go. Why? You gotta... Uh, yeah, I just... You didn't want to meet at Tops anymore. I don't. But Felicia was out of town, and Janet is on a project. Something to do with her being appointed university spokesperson. That's impressive. I think it's great. I just wish when you'd gone, I could have gone to the ceremony. That's exactly why I got rid of Rick. What? I don't want him around in the middle of, of some imagined vendetta. No. It may not be such a bad idea to put a tail on him. No, uh, don't worry about him for now. What do you got? Oh, these pictures go back about 20 years, some small-time, some not-so-small-time local underworld figures. Uh, some guys from Detroit, Chicago, too. Yeah, well, I hope Ms. Lamont can pick out a face here. Yeah, well, I hope she gets here soon, because these uh, pictures are due back, so to speak, before the next sergeant comes on duty. Mm. What do you got? Uh, just some uh, Brava personnel photos. Maybe she figured out that someone was working directly for Corey Publishing and Gloria threatened to expose them. Yeah, well, I hope she recognizes someone. You think she'll show up? Well, Lamont didn't leave her a large estate. She needs the cash. Yeah, well, the question is, does she care about her life or money? I mean, that's what she's got to think about. Uh, could we have two of those? Please, please not. Thank you. Uh, you know, I have to tell you, this is the first time I've ever celebrated anything with a client. Oh, come on. I don't believe no. it. I'm serious. Well, maybe that's because you intimidate people. Who, me? Well, pussycat. Tiger, maybe. I don't know about pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> Byron, hmm? forgive me for being forward, but do you think maybe you tend to overcompensate sometimes because you're worried people are going to feel sorry for you because you're in a wheelchair? So look, Molly, I'm in a wheelchair because I have a particular disability that requires it. Okay, that's it. There's no reason to feel anything for me other than what you feel for anybody else. Period. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just I have a real strong feeling about that. Sometimes I wish I was as strong as you. Sometimes I look at my life and I just feel like I've been a marshmallow the, the 
a long time. I mean, look where it's gotten me. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks. I think I'm going to go say hello to Marley. Looks like she's done with her business. Well, what would you like me to order for you? You're going to learn how to be real tough real fast as a single parent. That is not easy. <laughs> Maybe I won't be single for long. <laughs> well, then, here's to motherhood and marriage. Maybe celebrating. Amanda, I, I didn't see you come in. Sam and I just decided to come out for a late breakfast. Hi, Byron, how are you? Hi, Amanda, hi, how are you? Um, can I talk to you for just a second? Sure, sure, excuse me. Okay, it's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. What's up, is he a new lawyer? Oh, uh, yeah, he's working on a deal for me. I'm going to call it an investment in the future. Oh, well, that's great. Um, I don't want to keep you then. I just wanted to thank you for all of your help the other day with Olivia. And don't say that you didn't do anything because you did. I might not have been very successful with her, but you managed to get through, and um, she decided to have the baby. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, Sam and I think it is too. Unfortunately, things aren't always that simple. Oh, she has decided to put the baby up for adoption. Only she's made it perfectly clear that it's not going to go to Sam and me. I see. That's okay. Well, we still have hopes. Olivia has changed her mind several times about different things, and usually at the last minute, so mm. keep your fingers crossed. I will. Well, I'll, I'll give you a call next week, and we'll do lunch again, okay? Great. Okay. Okay. Is there something you want to tell me? No, no. If there's something I should know, Marla, the earlier you tell me, the easier it will be to deal with down the line. I know that. Uh, that's why I have to take care of something right now. Yeah. Can, can we uh, postpone our celebration for yeah. a little while? Yeah, And call me if you need me, okay? okay? Thank All you right. so much. Bye. I like Marley so much. I wish she and Jamie would get back together. Oh, they don't push it. They have to come to that themselves just like we do. I know. She's such a special person. She really deserves to be anything. Lucas, uh, uh, you know this guy? Jimbo Lonergan? Uh, yeah, vaguely, vaguely. Come on, Ryan, I'm worried. She said she'd be here by 11. Lucas, Wait, would you just calm time? down? If, calm if she down. doesn't come here, then I'll find her myself. Well, here she is. Ms. Mm -hmm. Lamont. Mm -hmm. Right over here. Keep it down. I don't want nobody knowing I'm here. After what happened with Doug, who knows who could be coming after me? Don't worry, this place is secure. Mr. Harrison checked it out himself, right, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's right, ma'am. This whole place has been checked for security. Now, all we need to do is see if you can identify some of these pictures as being the man that Gloria Norris was involved with. Yeah, right, if any of these men might be the uh, real father of my adopted daughter. You think... That's going to take him out my ex-husband. Because if it is, I don't think I want to say anything, even if I do know something. I'm asking you to go easy on her when we're actually doing the routine here as well. Well, don't worry, man. I know my job, all right? I just want to know when you're going to kick it to the real stuff. Just do what I tell you. Have you got that? I got it. But I'm telling you, unless your little girl loosens up, man, you're going to have a squat on this video. I don't want any more of your artistic observations. Now, yeah, listen to me. Not another word. Or your dad's history. <laughs> listen, it's, it's your neck. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. You've been waiting a long time. No, 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 no. Here, let me get this for you. Oh, thanks. Rah, rah. <clears throat> Honey? Yeah. What? What is this? You have bags under your eyes? I do? Oh, I was up kind of late last night. Oh, tell your boyfriend to go easy on you. Chill out. That's not what you think. Hey, it's easy. It's a joke. Just relax. The music cues up. It's all set. Okay? Can you start my day? Time is money. We should still like, do a quick run through of what we went over the other day, right? Okay, what we did? Yeah. Good. This time, we're going to use a little more appropriate music. It's not actually what we're going to use on the video, but. Six, 
stop, 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 stop. Yeah, you don't remember the steps. Yeah. I mean, I think I do. I'm still cold. It's very hard for me to dance when I haven't warmed up. Okay, I suggest this much help me. In fact, it was so good, I think we're ready to move to the next stage of production, don't you, Rick? Yeah? Yeah. Really? Because I feel so good right now, I could do just about anything. No, none of these. Are you sure? Hey, it was a long time ago. What can I tell you? Have you looked through this pile? Twice. Well, look at it again. I mean, as you said, it was a long time ago. I was just as sure the first time. Oh, you got dough or what? I keep feeling that we didn't press Olivia enough about this other adoption. Sam, please. Don't push her. For all of us, Well, I mean, I don't want her making arrangements, any kind of arrangements about my baby without discussing it with me first. You know that she's changed your mind about a lot of things. If you remember, when she first found out she was pregnant, she wasn't going to let you see the baby at all. She changed your mind about that, remember? But this... Just be patient. This is different. Give it time. You know, seeing Marley over there with Byron gives me an idea. What? Maybe it would be worthwhile talking to Cass about my rights as the father of this child. What do you think? It's a good idea. Should give him a call later. No, I think I'll call him right now. I'll be back in a second. Sorry, I misinterpreted your signals, I think. I'm quite embarrassed. That's quite all right. Actually, there would have been a time that I would have been interested. That was a long time ago. Really? Yes, that was worth it. What? Nothing. Well, like I was saying,
his command, he leaves it all. There's one last thing that I think you should consider, counselor, and that is that David is not my hero. What are you saying? I'm saying that if you care about your family as much as you would say you do, the tough place should never find you here. You know, it's interesting. Threats always have the opposite effect on me. The coincidence is same as true with me. As you can tell, that cheap dime store fairy Well, not great, actually. In fact, I was wondering if you could spend some time today. Well, sure, my day's not too full. Could I stop by and say 15, 20 minutes? Where are you now? Tops. Well, why don't you just stay there? Uh, I could use a lunch break anyway. Terrific. We'll see you in a bit then, all right? appointment, I always end up coming in here. Makes things more real somehow. It's really isn't it. I mean, this is, this is really happening. I got the papers from Byron this morning. Oh, that's great. I mean, we should get going as soon as we can. I don't, I don't know how to thank you. You have made me so happy. We're doing? I just want you to know that we could have had her today. Right? You don't know anything about that girl. Well, if you want her on tape so bad, you better figure out how you're going to get her there. You know what I'm saying? When is your little girl going to cooperate with us? Maybe I don't need her to cooperate with us. What? Maybe I can do this all by myself. Maybe she doesn't even have to know. This is for this session, and if we might need you in the future, is that fair? Yeah. Hey, thanks for not stiffing me. I didn't figure you'd pay me if I couldn't finger anybody. Wouldn't do that. If there's anything else that you think of that might might help us, anything unusual? He was tall, dark, and handsome. What can I say? Hey, guys. Thank you. Hi, thanks for meeting us. Sure, what's the problem? Um, I need to know what kind of rights I have as the father of an illegitimate child.
Right, Ms. Everly in. Mrs. Everly is too weak to see anyone, including her husband. The guidelines are quite clear about intensive care. It was very important that she see him, especially if it was going to be the last time. I appreciate the sentiment, but you were wrong. You're going to have to toughen up a bit, Dr. Harrison. Or you may find yourself in a predicament that I cannot get you out of. I wasn't aware that I needed assistance. That's the toughness, Doctor. You haven't seen anything yet. Marlon Pye. Hi. What did you buy? get going, but I will see you. Okay. Marley, you have time for a cup of coffee? So as things stand now, Olivia wants to give the baby up for adoption, but not to us. I see. Is there any doubt that you're the father? Have you taken a paternity test? No, no, but I know that I am. Olivia hasn't... Let's just say that I know that the baby is mine. He does not have any rights as a parent. Yes, of course he does, but we have to we have to establish unequivocally that he is the father. And that could take some time, especially if Olivia opposes testing.